Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCBRO Labs. This is a project demonstration video. So we have completed a recent project uh, based on uh, EA Mesh Network in which the nodes within the Mesh Network were computing the FFT spectrum of the signal acquired using DAC and then those FFT spectrum was being sent to the root node and then root node is sending that received FFT spectrum to the computer via serial communication and there is a python GUI on uh, uh, python GUI uh, running on this system which will uh, show the FFT spectrum data which is being received uh, from the root nodes okay so this is merely a project demonstration video because this work was done for CNH industrial and uh, uh, so we can't show you the exact code of it but if you need uh, any such kind of work or code then you can contact us through our website which is www.jcbrolabs.org okay further we also provide online training and do industrial and freelance projects based on data science python machine learning embedded system matlab etc so if you have any such requirement you can uh, let us know by contacting us through our website which is www.jcbrolabs.org or you can also mail us at info at jcbrolabs.org okay so uh, let's first uh, have a look uh, on our uh, mesh network which has been created with the help of uh, these ESP 32s hi friends so I will show you the uh, setup for this mesh network which I have created with the help of this ESP32 and we are computing the FFT. So these are some of the nodes. So here it is written node 6, it is the node 5. So these are connected to the root node because the program uh, is already there and the program is OTA compatible that means this program can be downloaded to these nodes over the air and you don't have to connect it to the computer okay here we are generating the frequency let's see what frequency are we getting okay it is too sharp okay here we are generating one kilohertz frequency right now and here we have connected our CRO in order to see uh, what kind of generated frequency uh, uh, or what kind of function we are generating here so this is the nodes and okay our setup is a little messy so don't mind about it here is the node one so uh, right now i have connected three nodes and this is the root node and it is connected to my system okay so from here uh, this root node uh, will send the command uh, to the specific node uh, okay uh, from and then a specific node after receiving the request from the root node will send the fft uh, spectrum to the root node and then root node will send that FFT information to the computer and on computer there will be a python a python script which will be displaying the data okay so let's see now the python script how we are seeing the data on it so now you have seen all these uh, uh, the physical structure of our mesh network now let's test our mesh network we will demonstrate you okay so in order to demonstrate first we connect the system uh, connect the root node uh, with arduino okay so let's this arduino to open up okay in this arduino we'll go to tools com4 uh, okay our uh, this is a root node and let's see okay let's reset our root node it seems like it is hanging okay com4 we have written the code uh, for all this mesh network uh, using ESP IDEA which is provided uh, by the ESP uh, Express systems and we have used this VS code to write the codes. Let's open this uh, terminal. 
okay somehow this terminal is not opening up okay let's uh, reset the system i'm plugging the root node again and okay so i hope the root node is com4 and open the terminal again okay okay parent is disconnected yeah the root node is connected okay let's see because on this terminal the data is very small okay so i will close it instead i will open this terminal from arduino okay let's open it here yeah so if you press one it you will see it is asking data from node one asking data from node one okay so node one is not connected into the network yet so that is why it is not uh, uh, showing anything because remember I just disconnected the root node so it is uh, creating uh, the mesh network and uh, once the network uh, is fully operational then we will seeing information like child mac okay now two child has been connected okay there are total three nodes which uh, should be connected to the root as of now okay right now two nodes have been connected okay node number 44 and 5 so let's see which nodes are there if we press one it will ask data from node one okay so node one is not connected yet let's ask from node 5 as i show you the node 5 okay node 5 is connected and it is sending us the data here is the fft data okay let's stop this auto scroll yeah, here this is the fft data right now only two mac uh, two nodes are connected okay now if i ask from the data from node 6 it is asking from the node 6 so node 6 is not connected uh, with the network yet okay and now uh, as we shown you in the video our function generator is connected to the node 5 so we will be getting the data from node 5 that's fine so we have verified it our network is connected so this is the root code which is being running on the root node so it is really a lengthy task and it also have OTA functionality in it so OTA means you don't have to connect other nodes directly to the computer you just uh, download the new firmware to the nodes from this root node directly okay and then this is the node codes uh, in this we are computing we are acquiring the data and then we are computing the FFT so this power code is related to the FFT computation uh, due to some restrictions we can't see you the exact code and we can't send you this code but this is just for the demonstration so that uh, if you uh, require any such kind of work you can contact us directly okay now see the python code which we have created so this is the python gui code which will show you the spectrum okay so let's run it and finger crossed uh, i hope the code will run <laughs> properly while demonstrating sometimes it happens as soon as you go on demonstrating something the code uh, uh, start behaving in a strange way okay let's first open the port okay so the port has opened now we'll select the node remember uh, node 5 is connected to the function generator and we were generating the one kilohertz signal frequency here so we'll select the node 5 and then we will start so this python gui is created in in a manner that it keeps on asking the data uh, from uh, nodes at an interval of five seconds okay so as i showed you this is the spectrum as i told you like we are generating uh, the uh, frequency from function generator of one kilohertz and similarly we are getting the spike at one kilohertz so this is the fft spectrum in this FFT spectrum we are taking only 1000 samples at a time and those 1000 samples are being uh, taken at a rate of 20 kilohertz and the code is written in such a way that single bin represents a 20 hertz resolution okay 
so now i will increase the frequency to 2 kilohertz and then you will observe uh, observe that this peak will shift to the 2 kilohertz okay so right now uh, frequency which is being generated from the function generator is 2023 hertz that is a near about 2 kilohertz and the spectrum has been shifted okay let's test it more uh, let's now change it to 500 hertz okay now i have set the function generator frequency to 504 hertz and yeah uh, frequency spectrum has been shifted to 504 hertz okay so this FFT spectrum is completely uh, perfectly fine and this is a very good example uh, that this mesh network can be used for uh, this uh, uh, FFT computation so generally this mesh network is being used for acquiring the real-time sensor vibrational sensor data uh, from different uh, nodes and then we need to compute the FFT on those vibrational sensors and then we can monitor uh, uh, like what kind of problems are we getting or so. so this is uh, the case uh, or this is the entire project which we recently completed so finally if uh, we also provide online training and do freelance and industrial projects and uh, uh, we do industrial projects on embed system python data science machine learning control system image processing etc so if you have if you have any such requirement you can contact us through our website which is www.jcbrolabs.org or you can also mail us at info at so that's it for this video thank you